have I been? What have I been doing? I seem to get that a lot. As I mentioned in the previous video, I'm in the midst of locating a place and moving. I found a place and I'll be moving soon, but as you can imagine, if you think about it, I've got a pretty big house and all the rooms are full, so I've got a lot of packing and preparation to do. I've got things to line up, internet service, all the things that it takes to move, and so it's keeping me pretty um, pretty occupied. So you can expect these to be hit and miss for the next I'd say two weeks. I do as I go out um, take some shots. I have some video clips ready and I'll be making videos pretty frequently once I get settled in. So in this video again I've accumulated a lot of uh, questions and so I'll just hit on some general topics. Why aren't my videos consistent? For example, uh, why don't I do them every day or every Wednesday? And I've had this question a few times. I do them as I have something to say. Whether it's a recent topic, I see a lot of questions on Facebook so I decide to answer them, or I'm out doing something. There, There's actual issues and events that trigger the videos. I don't necessarily have a list of things that I'm going to force myself to do. Uh, I try to make the videos to have relevant content. I realize I was compared to a, you know, a, a, another person who makes videos and I was asked if we're in competition and why don't I make videos the way they make videos and I could care less what other people are doing. It really it makes no difference to me whatsoever. Um, the more points of view, I think the better it is. So is competition in, in what way? So the answer is no, I don't see it as, as competition. And I would rather do videos as I have something to put in the videos than to do a thousand videos that don't say anything. And a question very similar to other uh, video bloggers or vloggers, do they bother me? Uh, no. I watch once in a while, um, and not too much, but now and then. I just, uh, I live here, so if somebody has something to say about here, of course I'm curious. Why well, probably some of you watch. Um, and the only time I guess it bothers me is when I see something that's just obviously it's just not true, and it, you know, it's like, ah, what are you talking about? But you don't see too much of that. Mostly you see a particular person's experience, their opinion. That's fair. Um, doesn't make it right or wrong. And the same with mine. You know, it's, if you don't have the same experience that I have, it's not right or wrong. It's just different. There's no problem with that. House hunting. What's going on with that? I will be doing a video, but I'm not going to do that video until this is completely done. I will tell you, though, that I had some problems uh, getting the kind of video clips that I would have liked to have gotten because most people aren't interested to being on the camera. They don't want the, particularly the outside of the house shown, probably because they don't want they don't want the world in general to know that that house is vacant and it's fair game. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I did find resistance. I have some clips. I'll certainly explain the process. And I think it'll be a pretty good video. But it won't be until I'm completely done with all of this. I've had the question brought up several times, some comments posted. Is something going on with me and Adriana? Um, one commented that the video looked like we were in love. and <laughs> Well, if, if it evoked that kind of emotion, then I'm proud of that video. But no, we're friends. Uh, we, came, we became friends uh, on the language share. It's been very effective for both of us. 
Uh, we carry on somewhat of a conversation uh, without using the uh, translating device and so it's it's really good and I become somewhat involved in her life and her and mine but on a level of friendship and uh, and that's it she's preoccupied with work I'm preoccupied with being solo so <laughs> um, it's actually pretty safe and convenient for both of us to have each other as friends so as much as some may want or not want, uh, it's, it's a non-issue. What are you going to do with Delta? <laughs> I got more questions on Delta than on uh, you know other personal things. It's, uh, there's people concerned that I'm just gonna kick her to the curb. What, Delta will be going with me. A little different topic, but I was, I was asked because they said they saw in another video log, not mine, that um, that if you're windy today, if you're coming here to visit on the 90-day visa, are you required to get the mandatory health insurance? And the answer is no, you're not. Uh, you can come here on the 90-day, but once you're going over that, if you extend it to the 180, you then need to get the health insurance. Uh, so I don't know where that came from I don't know what the concern is about that but if you're just planning to come here for a short visit uh, my brother's coming here to visit um, second week of September I believe it is I still don't have his itinerary but uh, it's, I think September 10th he's landing somewhere somewhere around that time and he was concerned about it and I said, no you don't have to worry about that okay so this is going to be a short video I just wanted to answer those questions do a little update uh, they're getting ready as always to have a little party down in town um, these are my last days in Hiron and you can see what an absolutely outstanding beautiful day it is that's the way um, I like it <laughs> that's what I'm used to and I'm very happy to see it um, there's a nice strong breeze the sun's out it makes the temperature absolutely perfect um, I'm going to miss this place. Uh, if any of you are looking for a nice, quiet, peaceful place to live in a friendly community that will treat you well, um, this would be a good place for you. So that's it. Until I do the next video, I'll see you later.